you can't control outside outside yeah. uh, people. Yeah. Uh, Marcus really said you can't control outside people or outside events. You can only control your mind. And once you once you realize that, then you'll have full shot. Well, actually, or some shit like I that. I think it's important. You know, let's talk about that real quick. Mm-hmm. Uh, like um, the mindset. Because, you know, pe- we're laughing. Ha, ha, ha. You got mm-hmm. a G-Unit song, you yeah. know, in 2024. Mm-hmm. I get money, you know. Yeah. And then, but, you know, I've been to your house. I've had the, you know. Um, luxury. The luxury of, of visiting your fantastic home. Thanks, and you man. have. Hundred dollar bills everywhere. We went and did your podcast, right? <laughs> well, one, yeah, yeah. And, and and literally everything is Benjamin Franklin here, Benjamin Franklin there. Money like signs everywhere. But when I thought about it, I was like, this actually is a very interesting, um, I guess psychology trick, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah. Well, one, it's like, like I'm not classy, right? Yeah. I'm not a classy motherfucker. I'm a G. I'll fuck you up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not trying to be classy, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm still a fucking street nigga to the heart yeah. but anyway so like that's a part of that shit but it's also you ever notice when one of your friends gets a car and you start seeing that car everywhere yeah right you're not a motherfucking x-man right you're not prof- like prof- the prof- yellow car right, right. yeah it, what happens right. is there's a part of your brain called the 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 um the res the, the reticular activation system mm-hmm. and it gets activated when you when you uh, see something that's important or something that's around all the time you start seeing more of it so the car was already there you just didn't see it before Right, because it wasn't activated in that part of your brain, right? And but once it's activated, you start seeing it everywhere, right? It's so activated for me on a certain topic. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> no, I'm, bro. No, let's like, keep going though. Right. So, so it's, it's important. <laughs> Can you please mentor him some more? <laughs> please, mentor him some more, please. Just keep going. Keep going. So, it's a, so it's important that you 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 really those inputs, right? Because imagine if your friend sees the car, yep. if your friend sees the car, you start seeing it everywhere. What if your friend starts talking about his problems all the time? He starts complaining, starts being a bitch. What are you mm-hmm. going to see all the time? You're going to see, thing. right? Yeah. But what if you use that shit to your advantage, right? So if you start seeing, so for the, the money shit and, you know, the ringtone is like, I want to think about money because I want to see different opportunities to get it the same way I see the car. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Right? So it's like, it, it's, it, but it's, it's, it's bigger than that. It's more like, just the way you got to think. It's, uh, it's not like positive thinking. It's, for example, intent. Was, yeah, it's you intent, know, right? Yeah. Like, I, okay, so I, I was I was with my son, and we was at uh, we was in Atlanta, right? We was at um, there's a Lego Lego Discovery shit. He likes to fuck with that shit, and I had the nigga on my neck, and we was walking around, cause that's how he likes. That's his preferred method of travel, like being on my neck, right? Yeah. And so we walking around. I was like, oh shit, there's an Omega store in here. You know, I like watches, right? So I was like, let me see what the fuck Omega talking about. And I go up in there and I see this watch. That I kind of, I, I think it's kind of cool. And I'm looking at him like, how much is that? And he's like, oh, it's like ten grand. And my son was like, ten thousand dollars for a watch? That's too much. I don't know who taught him that bullshit, right? <laughs> but um, <laughs> but I, I took, I took, mom this, right there. I took this nigga yeah. off my head. <laughs> I was like, hey, 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 look here, man. <laughs> Never say nothing's too much money, right? You can have anything you want if you work hard enough. Mm-hmm. You can have anything you want if you work hard. Don't ever let nobody tell you you can't do nothing. Don't even tell yourself that, nigga. If you want something, you, you, gotta, you, just, you can go get it. Nah, I didn't say nigga. If you want it, you can go get it, all right? Straight up, like you can have anything you want if you work hard enough, right? Because that's some broke, that's some broke nigga shit, right? To say it's too much. Mm-hmm. You should be like, I, instead of saying something's too much money, I say, man, I need to get more money. Mm. Right, because then I'll start looking for opportunities. But if I say it's too much, it's like classic rich dad poor dad shit. Y'all had Kiyosaki on here, yeah. right? That's where I first like read that shit in his book when I was like nineteen, and but I adopted that with everything, right? So it's like I don't say shit is too much money. I say nah, man. You know how can I get more money? So I right there I was like told the, the Omega man, you know I was like yo <laughs> Omega man, give me two of these watches so I can flex on this nigga right quick, man. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? <laughs> Omega man, <laughs> <laughs> and um, but it's you got to do that with everything, like straight up. It's like I won't say I'm I'm tired. I say y'all got to get more energy. I don't say I'm hungry. I'll be like, no, I got I got I got I got I got to go get some food, right? Yeah. I'm not saying uh, 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 you got to keep that with everything. Oh, I can't get no girls, man. I got to find a way to get the house, right? It's whatever. You got to focus on what you want, because if you because fo- if you say both both of them are true. It's not it's not. I don't think of it as positive thinking. I think of it. I think about it as not being negative, mm. right? You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That makes a lot of yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. And, and, uh, we, and yeah. the government, we used to say, find a way to say yes versus finding yeah. a way to say no. Because both things like, are true. Like, how can we get this done? Mm-hmm. Also, when you look at kids, they see their parents do certain things, and they say, you yeah. know what? All right, they're poor, and they got to save money, so this is all I could afford when I get older as well. Yeah. And you say, you know what? Nah, fuck all that. 
think think in a way we we can afford it once you put in the work together. If you put in enough work, yeah. right? So I, I, he's he can't be a spoiled motherfucker, right? It's like yeah, you can have whatever you want if you work hard enough for it. And and I want everybody to know that, right? That's that's a big message. Like I ain't trying to sell nothing on here. Like yeah. that's one of the messages. And I, I think that goes across. back to the ringtone. They yeah. laugh at you and they might say, "Well, I mean, we're making some jokes." Yeah, or whatever. No, it's funny. But like, but the you reality know? is, is like you you have it in your brain. Get money all the time. So even when your phone rings, yeah. It tells you I get money, and it's reaffirming that all the time. You go home, and you're surrounded myself. by, you know, yeah. all of these signs like I need to make more money. Because you could have said, you know what, Elliot's uh, training is too much money for me. I'm gonna just stay here I, yeah. and figure shit out. Yeah, but you find say, you way. know what? Nah, I'm gonna find a way to make it work. Pay for the hotel, pay for the flight, and go to that training. And look, look where you are now. Yeah, if you if you look for ways to do it, yeah. your mind will find it. Like your mind is like super powerful. And, and I don't mean it. I don't want to sound like one of these motherfucking white girls who collect rocks and shit or like tell you about the <laughs> horoscope, <horror Crystals. stuff. laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, but it's like <laughs> on some real shit. Stones. Your fucking your brain will will be able to figure shit out. It's like it's more advanced than any AI or anything. But you just got you got to program it right. So I say, man, no. How do I get this shit? Yeah. Right. Net, I, I never talk about my problems. I always f- phrase it in a way where it's like, how can I get past it? You know, and I don't let people around me talk like that because bitch assness is contagious. It is. Right. Like it if really your friend, is. if your friend, if your friend says, starts talking, if your friend can get a car and then you see that car everywhere, what happens when he starts talking about his problem? When he starts complaining, when he starts acting like a bitch? Right, you're gonna see more of that shit in your life. Bitch assness is a disease, yeah. right? It's motherfucker. It's contagious and it spreads. So like, if some one of my homies or someone around me says some 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 bitch nigga shit, I'm immediately gonna be like, hey man, don't say nothing, don't say that about yourself, right? If he says, man, uh, I, I I can't do that. I'm like, no, nah, don't say that about yourself, nigga. You can if you want to. You just haven't chose to. That's cool and that's okay because at least that's responsibility, right? But you can you can do it. You are capable, my nigga. Mm-hmm. Like, I won't let nobody say nothing around me. And, yo, my students, sometimes they'll be like, man, I'm trying to get more followers. I'm like, you know, and then everybody will flip out because they know what's coming next. I'll be like, you, you what? <laughs> Use the T word? <laughs> nigga, you just say try? Trying. Nigga, did you say try? You a motherfucking try, baby? <laughs> you a motherfucking try, baby? Man, we don't use that type of profanity here, man. You must be new. <laughs> we don't use the T word. You either gonna do it or you not, homie. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't out here trying to do shit like hoes. Bitches try to do shit. <laughs> 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 we don't try to do shit. <laughs> we fucking gonna do it or we're not gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? Or I, I'd rather you, if, if you're gonna try anything, you need to die trying. Like that's the only kind of try that I'll accept. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it, but it's like success is black and white, man. It really yeah. is. It really is. You do it or you don't. That behavior means that that the, the way you speak to yourself it means something. It means something because it's gonna it programs your brain how you behave. You say think think about it. When, when nigga says, "Yeah, I'm gonna try to do this," and when nigga says, "I'm gonna do this," I'm gonna find a way to do this no matter what. Just who you gonna bet on? Yeah, you're mm-hmm. right. Who would you bet on? You're right. Also, that energy when you fuck the put, word try, I like put, that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't let nobody say this. We put it out there where you say, you know what, I'm gonna do this. You know what happens? People meet you know, so you know what? This guy's energy is good. Yeah. I want to help him on his journey. They yeah. help you because they see you're ambitious. You want to make it as well. So they'll help you along your journey. I don't know if the like law of attraction and all that other shit is real, but what I do know mm-hmm. is a motherfucker who got that motherfucking drive. You can see it, and when you're around a person like that, it, it, you feel like you can accomplish more. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I try to instill that into everyone I'm around. Not just because I'm a nice guy, but more, I, it's like, <laughs> I don't want, if they're going to be on, I don't want them to be on some bitch shit, at least not around me because it's contagious, right? So <laughs> I want to make you feel like you can do whatever you want. I want to give you that feeling so like we all, we all on the same vibration. Because if you, if you come in with that bitch shit, then that bitch assness might fucking seep into my motherfucking being. And next thing you know, I'm out here trying to do shit like a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that shit, my nigga. That is so true, man. You got to go after it. That, that's a big part of the mindset, my nigga. So that's the first step to making money is having the mindset don't pack. Yeah, right having the mind. That's the very first step. We can go into some more tactical stuff, but the, the reason I, I, I kind of want to save like the tactical stuff because we've seen niggas, especially over the last three, four years, make money and then lose it all because they didn't have the mindset right. You know mm. That's how my dad lost it all. You know, feel me? You it's, know, um, just, something just hit me in the head since we're talking about 2000s music um and the song till i collapse nate dog eminem i think i think he said it literally um success is my only fucking option failure is not yeah, yeah, yeah and i think when people have that do or die mentality right you know whether it's me taking that chance yeah. right i'm gonna i'm gonna fucking 
spend this money. I'm putting it on credit. I don't go fuck because I'm going to make this shit back because mm. I believe in myself. Um, that is much more powerful than saying, oh, well, I'm going to try to do it. Come on, man. Or I'm going to work at it. Like, no, you're yeah. going to fucking do it. You like, don't get what you want. You get what you have to have. Yeah. You will not rise to your ambitions. You will fall to your standards. So yeah. it's not even about try, trying to get more. It's about no, it's about accepting no less. You there get what I'm go. saying? Like you gotta, you gotta put a, you gotta raise the floor. Yeah. Right. I won't, ex I won't accept less than 100k this year. Yeah. I won't yeah. accept less than this amount of money. Right. That's way more powerful than the standards. I'm raising try your standards. 100k per year versus yeah. I will not accept anything less than this. Is it a standard or not? You know what I'm saying? Devil's advocate. Mm -hmm. Well, Brandon, you got lucky, bro. You, you, but lucky you met Elliot Holtz. Yeah. I'm not lucky like you. How, how am I gonna make it, bro? Well, listen, man. It's like here. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Had I not put in all that work, I wouldn't have got lucky. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like that opportunity wouldn't have, wouldn't have. Uh, had I not been, already been on the path, I would I wouldn't even had the opportunity to get lucky. You get what I'm saying? Like I would say, I, um, when people say luck. I say luck is the combination of preparation and hard work and opportunity. Yeah, uh, that's what it is. Opportunity and preparation coming together. Boom. That's the luck. Because if you can't see the opportunity. Then what is that? Yeah, luck that's is the last you. dying wish of those who think that success can happen on accident. Boom. Right, it's got to be planned out. It, it, it was strategic. Like this, my whole path Boom. was planned out, strategic, and there was there was upsets. It was there was you know setbacks. setbacks. You know, a lot lot of bad shit happened along the way. Right, but you got to just keep going. You got to really plan this shit out and be and be thorough. You feel me? Like let me here's 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 something. You can say it's luck, and there's there's fortunate things that happen. Like one of the things I had, like great parents, like that's lucky, you know. Um, but what me being born on the south side of Chicago was that lucky? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you, like you gotta you gotta turn it around. But it's hard to say somebody's lucky when it's like look, this is my calendar, right? Like yeah. every hour, every day is that, planned guys. out. Yeah, my nigga. Like Yo, every hour, every insane, day, bro. Nigga. Like remember, I saw on your CEO network. I, yeah, I, I told these niggas that. Like, and this is today, right? There's no white. It's just like. Two, one or two hours of white space here when am i going to do some fuck shit when am i going to do some bullshit right when i got it from i got it planned from 4 30 <laughs> to like the whole day right look you know, i'm strategic yeah you can so look at if they follow you on instagram king keto king, uh, thanks, man. you can see he posts like as soon as he wakes up at like 4 30 in the morning every day or 4 30 5 30 depending on what time i went to sleep 4 or 5 30 yeah and it's literally like he's like up early in the morning all the time you know what i mean so and, and everything's planned out every single day yeah it's hard it's, to fail when you have it like that it's hard it's hard any motherfucker who who's strategic about his life plans it out and like and works that plan it's like that motherfucker will seem lucky or over a long enough period of time mm. you know what i'm saying like i even when people say man i work hard or like it's different between working hard i work at capacity you know what I'm saying? Like it's di that's different than working hard. Yeah. Right. That's capacity. You will not fail if you go all out. I mean, when I say all out, I mean at capacity. I read a book along when I was really young, and my I might have been 19 to 20. It's called The Science of Getting Rich. And um, he said over and over again, he said, "Do all that can be done each day. All that can be done." Each day, like doing all that can be done is not working hard. It's not grinding. It's hustling. It's capacity yeah like you cannot have done no more and doing each day it's not sometimes not most of the time it's not a lot of time it's each day and if you work at capacity each day you cannot fail no one i've never seen it happen and if not where you are where you want to be start working at capacity each day that's that's more than working because working hard is arbitrary are you going as hard as you can go Mm. Are you doing it every day? You're doing it sometimes once in a while. It's a difference, you know? Is it, and that's why it's like you can outwork poverty if you're in a first world country, right? If you're in some shit country, nigga, you know, <laughs> fresh, fresh guy. However, fresh did it. He might Wait have a, a like a master class uh -huh. <laughs> on how to get out of the third world. This is not third world. Come on, man. Uh, maybe Haiti, but not, <laughs> not my business, nigga. <laughs> Yeah, give it, give it a beat, yeah, brother. my fault, man. Yeah, my fault. My fault. Baby, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I've been to Barbados. Hey, I ain't lying, bro. I mean, I've been true. to Barbados. I've seen mad huts. <laughs> Where'd you go, nigga? You, you to Barbados. Uh, what part? Bombaka. What part, yoga? The part. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. About, I don't no, know Bayesian. I don't know Bayesian <laughs> geography like that, my nigga. Well, yeah. You went to the Bahamas. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. Cheese on bread. I get what you're saying, because in any case, though.
<laughs> Minding your environment, <laughs> you can make it work. But it's funny yeah. because uh, we get all the time. It's yeah. oh, but it's a poor country. It's not. It's just we're in the hemisphere of these other places. Yeah, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just fucking with I know you, Fresh, man. You know, you know my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, Fresh, fresh is my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Actually, he, he did a culture call with my guys, CEO Network, and mm-hmm. he told them about having a schedule. Yeah. Bro, I kid you not, a couple of them follow the schedule, and now they're making hella money doing clips, doing yeah. content, and it's because they had a schedule. Before, they had no schedule. They just wake up, wing it, and try to figure it out. Yeah. Oh, you can't wing it, man. If you don't, if you, yeah. don't, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Facts. You know what I'm saying? It's like you got you got to be able to plan shit. You got to measure shit. You got to track shit. And that I think that would probably be the next step is to really like start working at capacity. But the only way to do that is to use your calendar. So Google Calendar is free, right? I don't get no <laughs> affiliate links for. It's funny because you've been mm-hmm. doing this since I met you. For, and you probably been yeah. doing it before even then. Bro, I got videos from like ten years ago, man. You plan out every day in your calendar. You know, every hour of every day, right? And that, that'll help you with any bad habits you're trying to. Uh, get rid of too really because well. it'll be there's no time for the bullshit. Yeah. There's no time for it. You know what I'm saying? If you want to, because it, people say, just want to break bad habits, you got to replace them. I like that. You know what I'm saying? You got to replace it's them. It's not about breaking bad habits; about replacing them. I yeah, like that. Yeah, you got to. And I think that'll be easier shit. for a lot of people to apply. Yeah, like where instead of gambling, yeah, you could take that hour, get the fuck off stake. Yeah, and actually make some real fucking money. Yeah, or you just want motherfuckers be wanting to stop beating off all the time. It's like you just gonna sit around bored, not beating off. Nah, man, <laughs> you gotta go do some shit. <laughs> you gotta do some. You or gotta yeah. alternative. Plan. Find the girl and then. Yeah, or or, or, or find a hoe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Today's sponsor is Be Naked. After 30, your testosterone drops by 2% every year. Yeah, that's right. While you're out here scrolling TikTok, your masculine is packing his bags. But you don't have to be that guy. Step up with Naked Organs. This ain't no soy boy supplement. This is straight up 100% bison organs, liver, kidney, heart. The stuff men have been using for centuries to stay sharp, strong, and keep their testosterone sky high. Forget your vegan pea protein, quinoa, or whatever weak sauce they're pushing. This is primal power. Packed with B12, iron, and zinc. Real nutrients that your body needs to stay jacked and ready to dominate. Go to BeNaked.com, use code FRESH, and get 15% off. Keep your masculinity in check, guys. Code word FRESH. BeNaked.com, use code FRESH for 15% off. Support them, support us. 